isocost lines show combinations of productive inputs that have the same cost. Therefore, we can consider isocosts as budget restrictions to producers. Every firm disposes of a budget in order to produce a desired amount of output. The money available for this purpose will be determined as C. P as the vector of prices of all inputs needed for the production process, and IC is defined as the set of affordable input combinations that the producer can choose from. Note that IC must meet the following condition. The quantity of goods produced multiplied by their prices must not be greater than the money available for production. In this graph, the x-axis or horizontal axis shows the amount of capital needed for the production process, while the y-axis or vertical axis shows the amount of labor needed. An isocost line is drawn to represent how much a firm can produce given a limited amount of money, called C, as well as the prices of each input. The points where the isocost line crosses with the axis represent those extreme cases when the firm allocates its entire budget to only one factor of production. For the horizontal axis, this point will be equal to C divided by R, where R is the cost of capital, while for the vertical axis, it will be equal to C divided by W, W being the cost of labor. Generally, we think of R as the interest rate the financial markets offer, since capital requires investment. The cost of labor is the wage paid to employees per unit of time. The firm can choose from any point that lies inside of the isocost line, this line being the frontier that delimits the budget constraint. In the case where the amount of money available decreases, the line will be shortened and the area reduced. This will give the firm less possible combinations of inputs. On the other hand, when the budget is increased, the line will stretch and the area increase. When the cost of an input changes, the isocost line is modified. This way, if the interest rates increase, and hence its cost, the firm will not be able to use this resource as much as previously, which graphically is represented by a shortening of the isocost through the horizontal axis. As we can see, an increase in the cost of an input will always mean a decrease in the budget area. On the contrary, if the wages of employees decrease, the firm can hire more workers. Graphically, this is represented by the isocost line stretching through the vertical axis, and as a result, the budget area is increased. The relation with other terms such as cost minimization and production maximization is implicit, since firms will try to produce as much as possible from a limited budget.